Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged cables of congratulations on the occasion of the birth of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Gulf leaders and heads of states of Arab and Islamic countries. His Majesty expressed wishes of good health, happiness, further progress, development and prosperity for the countries and their peoples, wishing many more returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held an official meeting in Cairo yesterday with Egypt's President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. He thanked him for the warm hospitality accorded to him and his accompanying delegation, underlining the brotherly ties and the distinguished cooperation relations as well as Bahrain's stances towards Egypt and its people. Both leaders reviewed bilateral relations and ways of bolstering them at all levels for the common interests of both countries and people. His Majesty affirmed the pride of Bahrain's leadership and people for its strong historical relations with Egypt, stressing the mutual keenness to enhance aspects of cooperation and to continue consultation and coordination in light of the challenges in the region. Both leaders expressed pride in the advanced level of the Bahraini-Egyptian relations and their aspirations to push bilateral cooperation to new horizons of joint work in light of the close ties between the two leaderships and brotherly people. His Majesty underlined Egypt's progress in various aspects under the leadership of President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. His Majesty also praised the historical and pioneering role of Egypt in protecting the Arab national security, defending Arab interests and strengthening the foundations of peace, security and stability in the Middle East. His Majesty stressed the importance of solving the issue of the Renaissance Dam in order to bring prosperity to the countries concerned and guarantee Egypt's rights in its water share without affecting its water security. For his part, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi praised the efforts of His Majesty the King and his pioneering role in the development of the Bahrain relations with Egypt, describing these relations as distinguished model of cooperation. He also valued the honorable role of His Majesty the King in supporting joint Arab work and His Majesty's wise stances on regional issues, stressing Egypt's firm stance on the security of the Arabian Gulf as an integral part of Egyptian national security. The talks also dealt with developments in the region and their implications for their security and stability, as well as regional and international events in addition to exchanging views on a number of issues of common concern. The two leaders praised the signing of the Riyadh Agreement between the Yemeni government and the Southern Transitional Council. They expressed their deep appreciation for the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud to settle the Yemeni crisis and restore security and stability to all parts of Yemen in a way that enhances and consolidates stability and peace in the region. They thank the Yemeni President Abdurrabu Mansour Hadi and his government as well as the UAE government for facilitating the pivotal agreement which will back efforts towards a comprehensive political settlement. They expressed hope the agreement would rally the Yemeni ranks to face threats and challenges and work together to tackle the repercussions of the Houthi coup and deter threats to Yemen's unity and stability. They also underscored the need to boost cooperation between the Arab countries to maintain their security and stability and confront challenges, including mainly terrorism, extremism, and foreign interference. They also affirmed the need for synergized efforts to work on peaceful solutions to the crises in the region and promote security, stability, and prosperity. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Egypt where His Majesty was welcomed upon arrival by the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, senior government officials, the ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to Cairo, and staff members of the embassy.
Mr. Al Hanis, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of congratulations on the occasion of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Gulf leaders, Prime Ministers, Crown Princes, and heads of states of Arab and Islamic countries. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, expressed wishes of good health, happiness, further progress and development, prosperity for the countries and their people, wishing many more returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. And His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, exchanged cables of congratulations on the occasion of the birth of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with Gulf leaders, Prime Ministers, Crown Princes, and heads of states of Arab and Islamic countries. His Royal Highness expressed wishes of good health, happiness, further progress, development, and prosperity for the countries and their people, wishing many more returns for the Arab and Islamic nations. The representative council speaker, Fawzia bint Abdullah Zainal, met with the Prime Minister of Morocco, Saadeddin al Uthmani, and praised the distinguished cooperation between the government of Bahrain and the government of Morocco stressing parliamentary support for bilateral cooperation in various fields and enhancing efforts to implement cooperation agreements, especially on the parliamentarian level. She affirmed Bahrain's keenness to develop means of cooperation with Morocco and strengthening them at all levels, praising the distinguished and strong relations between the two countries and the peoples, as well as their keenness on joint work to meet the aspiration of the two countries in the promotion of bilateral relations. She expressed her deep pride for the fraternal relations between Bahrain and Morocco, which is further strengthened by the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI, and the joint coordination between the two countries in various fields and regarding various regional and international issues. For his part, the Prime Minister of Morocco expressed pride in the great progress witnessed in the relations between the two countries at various levels and joint coordination at the regional and international levels and the ongoing consultation based on historical and brotherly ties which is owed to the attention of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI. He stressed Morocco's supportive and everlasting solidarity with Bahrain praising its pioneering and high efforts in maintaining security and stability, developing economic and investment cooperation between the two countries, supporting Arab and international efforts in combating terrorism and achieving the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. In the presence of the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the club organized the second race of the season, which was held for the Cup of Montreal Motor Company, the Cup of the late Abdul Hadi Al Afu and the Sakhir Stable Cup of Arabian Horses on the racetrack of the club in Sakhir. The race was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Sultan bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, the President of the Royal Equestrian and Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nader bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as representatives of the sponsors of the race and a number of supporters. The winners were awarded with trophies, where the executive director of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the Sakhir Cup to the winner, Yusuf Tahir, while the Montreal Cup was awarded by Ibrahim Al Sheikh, owner of Montreal Motor Company, for the fourth half to the winning rider Hadi Al Afu and the Montreal Cup for the seventh half to the winning rider Jafar Al Ansari. Abdul Rad Al Afu awarded the late Abdul Hadi Al Afu Cup to His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa and presented souvenirs to the winners.
The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Azayani, and the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Mr. Nader Al Muayyad, inaugurated the fourth edition of the Sea Festival at Marasi Beach. More details in this report with Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, toured the Sea Festival, which celebrates the kingdom's historical ties to the sea, showcasing a wealth of folklore and handicrafts still practiced by Bahrainis today. Organized by Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, in collaboration with Eagle Hills DR. Always been linked to the history of Bahrain. Uh, we have a number of, ac uh, of activities related to sea in, in uh, this year. The area of uh, the exhibit, uh, exhibition area is uh, much more than last year. Last year it was 9,000. Uh, this year it reached 15,000 uh, square meter. Thank God, thank God. The festival runs every day until November 16th, featuring a wide range of activities suitable for all age groups, including water activities and boat rides around the beach, as well as various pop-ups on the beach, including a maritime museum showcasing the kingdom's rich history and around-the-clock traditional performances where local bands reveal glimpses of local folklore to the audience. It also includes an outdoor cinema, which displays exciting shows and stunning scenes, featuring an on-stage Sea World performance. The sea is something important for Bahrainis and for Bahrain itself. So DR, we are always, as DR and Eagle Hills DR, which is the Marasi Bahrain project, we are always taking care of our sea. And we are always looking for more activities near our sea and our beach. And this is making the place more unique and giving uh, the attractions for people to visit this place. A number of distinguished craftsmen creating traditional handicrafts enlighten visitors and children on the origins and trade secrets passed on through the ages alongside a number of pearl merchants showcasing the famous pearls that the kingdom is known for all in a festive atmosphere. We have more than 10 vendors when it comes to the food sector and more than 10 vendors when it comes to the handicrafts, Bahraini handicrafts who are specialized in the sea sector and uh, not to forget about the jewelry uh, shops as well. Uh, regarding the uh, visitors, the past years it's attracted more than 25,000 visitors per, uh, during the 10 days, so we're expecting more of the visitors this year due to the new location with the direct access to the beach. Bahrain Sea Festival is so much fun! Hosting the Sea Festival comes in line with Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority's overall strategy aimed at developing and strengthening the tourism sector under the slogan Ours Yours, which contributes towards the Kingdom's Economic Vision 2030. The fourth edition of Bahrain Sea Festival opens today gathering a lot of visitors and linking Bahrain's history with the sea, highlighting the traditions of birding and fishing and their contributions to the history of Bahrain in early years. Hiba Abdel Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, announced the timeline and regulations for the camping season 2019-2020 in the presence of the Chief of Public Security, Major General Abdullah Mohammed Az Zayed, and a number of senior officers and officials, as well as representatives from cooperating bodies. The Southern Governor announced that the camping season will begin on November the 20th, 2019, until March the 20th, 2020. He affirmed that the camping season is one of the most important annual seasons, noting that the registration for the season will be open on November the 14th online or by submitting the form at the Camp Services Center. His Honor Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali asserted the role of the Governorate in adopting and enhancing the security role and community partnership in various governmental and private security authorities, as well as achieving security and communal awareness as part of the directives of the Minister of Interior. General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. He also announced the CAMP initiative, which includes packages of electronic communication channels, noting the Governorate's keenness on enhancing communication with citizens and providing the best services. He added that the registration for the camping season will be free of charge for campers. For their part, the attendees hailed the role of the Governorate in joint coordination to host the camping season 
in order to learn about the procedures and conditions that guarantee maintaining security and safety.